And we are doing an unboxing of Fido's uh, new disc, Infernal, okay? And as I, un as I undo this, I see we've got a double disc here. Got, uh, got his barcode there. And here we go with Infernal. The long-awaited Infernal, his own studio, Bloodfish. Uh, is on the back here. You can go to bloodfish.com. You can actually get a Helix MP3. You can stream that. Okay, so not only, uh, you may notice the artwork looks familiar, okay? And that is because this is a trilogy. The first album being, and we're getting some glare there. The first album being uh, The Great Leap. The second album being Doomsday Afternoon, and this is the third album. Okay, all of the artwork was done by Molly, who is a, one of the um, backup singers, and she does some percussion, I believe, on stage as well, and um, with assorted items hanging from the microphone stand, as well as uh, she does play drums, I believe, on Mogan and earlier Fido projects. Uh, so very talented as all 10 of them are so let's talk a little bit let's check out this the the this disc here now i should preface this with okay here we go there's the right side up so it's a double album it's a fold, we got a fold here let me just do that there we go a little artwork here and um and this is really really small printing so be prepared to get your eyeglasses out exact as a matter of fact I am gonna do get a flashlight here to help with this and the camera and I'm gonna expand here okay so the artwork has been um, is an ode a bit to Salvador Dali, which I can definitely see, as well as somebody called, I believe it's Hieronymus Bosch. And you can see the Salvador Dali elements let me, without, if I can get my fingers out of there. Okay, so uh, very influenced by Dali anyway, I can tell that. All right, and in b this side, we've got the first disc in a black pouch, and then we have... I, I believe they call us a gatefold with the lyrics in the smallest thing you can find in the smallest font possible and we've got five images total three here and two there let's check out the other half let's see if we've got more oh and the lyrics were in there as well so if, as I look at the other side we also have the disc and another a booklet this time and this booklet has the lyrics again and the songs um, and more images might be the same but let's see if I got five images on this one too one two three four five six so different amount are the images different there might be a lot of artwork in here by Molly I'm not quite sure if they're Repeats. Let's let's take a look here. They that one is not. Let's see. Oh yeah, but maybe the other five are. I see that one on both. Yes. So you'll see very similar two very similar booklets. One a gatefold. One a booklet. Um, the images are the images and the lyrics are on both. Okay. And see here this this image gets uh, goes across the center fold here as well as the lyrics and um, there's it this side yep right there so that is what you get so if you're thinking about buying the digital version or the physical copy at least now you know what you get um, I will talk a little bit about the album I wouldn't have minded uh, to give you a little review of the album but honestly I've only listened to it twice this is gonna be one that's gonna take me a long time to digest its double album 
listening to it twice means I gave it four hours already. Um, and I will say that I'm definitely going to like this album a lot. How much do I like it? I'm not quite sure just yet. Um, some great passages. And um, I love everything that Fido's done. I should preface this with he's one of my favorite artists. I have gone to see him play uh, first in 3RP in Pittsburgh. I live in Chicago. Then I went to see him play Rosfest, maybe. It was next, 2009. 2010 was Summer's End in the UK. Then 2010, I think, again, was Terra Incognita. And then he has played My House once. He played with Guy Manning again at my house, and he played with Clive Nolan again at my house. So I've seen him perform three times here, as well as also in a place called Malt B, the Classic Rock Society, um, did he played as well. So I may have seen him perform more than anybody else besides other people in the band. Um, as far as I know, I've only missed Crescendo. So anyhow, um, for a guy that really loves Fido, I'm not going to be disappointed with this album. I'll tell you that right now. I'm just not quite sure how much I'm going to like the album or if I'm going to love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We got. I'm going to do a couple of these and see if uh, you guys are digging this or not. All right. I hope you have a great day. And as always, listen to progrock.com for all your prog needs. And there's also the podcast, Music and Widescreen. We'll see you later.